Hello there, friends. This is Vicki from StampSmiles.com. I'm sharing another video tutorial with you for DigiDoodle Studios, and it's so exciting that they're a first-time sponsor for the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop. And I'm going to share how I made this really cool Z Fold gift card holder. And when you open up the card, it looks like this, and it's got a cute little gift card holder at the top of it. it has lots of fun openings to it. So um, for the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop, DigiDoodle Studios is sponsoring over there. So you want to be sure to join the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop and also be sure to check out the DigiDoodle Studios blog and website. And I'll have lots of links down below in the description. So be sure to check that out. I'm using lots of DigiDoodle Studio products on my card today. You can see this cute little girl holding the coffee cup. Her name is Ginger from DigiDoodle Studios. I've got her colored up with Copic markers and die cut out. And I'm also using this um, digital stamp set called Coffee Anyone from DigiDoodle Studios. You can see that on the edges of them, I use tea stain distress ink around the edges of them. And I've got them all printed out and cut up and ready to go to place on my project. So starting out, um, you'll need a regular piece of A2 size, uh, similar type of cardstock, and you'll want to score it, at half, score it in half at five and a half inches. And then to make the Z fold part, you will need to also score at the two and three quarter inch mark. And we're going to turn it this way. But you will also need another piece of cardstock here um, that's nine inches by three and a half inches and scored in half at the four and a half inch mark. And then for this, I'm just going to take some pattern paper for the front of the blue area for the blue folded card at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I'm going to use this pattern paper from the Coffee Break digital, uh, digital papers from DigiDoodle Studios. And I'm going to place her right over top of this. Now, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the whole entire paper pack from the Coffee Break Digital Papers because sometimes I think it's important that you see everything that you get uh, in the digital sets that you can't always tell, but when they're printed out, you can tell, you know, what they look like, and they're a really cool paper pack. Now, here I'm putting some more of the papers. Um, I've got two pieces cut at four inches by two and a half inches, and I'm just placing these on the inside of the gift card holder. Now that flap on the bottom is going to show on the front of the card, and we'll you'll see how this comes together as we go along. But all of these papers that I'm using come from the Co Coffee Break Digital Paper Collection from DigiDoodle Studios. And this is the same paper that I used on the front that's behind the ginger coffee girl. And then I've got some sentiment here that I die cut out with a circle and layered some more of that on there. It's just basically says coffee, 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 more coffee. <laughs> and now for the top of the inside, I'm going to take the folded blue card and with the ginger on it and I'm going to place that right at the top of it. Now when you open up this card, when you open up the blue card, it has that flap on it. When you open it up, you see here, um, that's where the gift card holder is going to go at the very top. But then on the inside, I've also got this other panel that I've printed out the sentiment, um, which is my favorite of all. Life is short. Enjoy the coffee. <laughs> and put that on the inside of it. Now this is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I thought it'd be fun to take a couple more little strips because I already had a bunch of pieces cut from the digital papers. So I thought it'd be fun to take a couple strips and just place them on there. And I decided with this one to go all the way uh, widthwise across. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but um, obviously um, the sizes that I'm using here, the width of it is is um, maybe about a half an inch. And then um, the length, I've used the same length 
as the width of the card is, which is four and a quarter. So um, if you wanted to know the measurements. Now I am just taking a piece of a brown card stock, a strip of that, and I'm going to attach it on the front here. This is purely for decoration, I guess. I just thought it needed another strip right there for my card. So I'm just gluing that on. And the reason why I'm using glue is it gives me a little wiggle room so I can make sure that I've got it nice and straight on there. Now, for the gift card holder, I'm using uh, some more of the pattern paper, cut it three and a quarter by three and three quarters. And this is a two and a half inch circle punch that I'm using just basically to cut an opening at the top where the gift card's gonna be so you can, so the recipient can easily, um, you know, slide the gift card um, out when they get the card. And here I am going, because this is gonna get handled a lot, I thought it was important to use some uh, uh, score tape here. And when I put score tape down, I like to use my bone folder to make sure it's pressed down. And then I use the tip of my scissors just to help me get the, the sticky back off. And before I went too much further, I took my gift card to make sure that it fit in there and it had plenty of room before I went ahead and put it on there. So when I put this piece of paper on here, um, I kind of cut it a little bit off screen, but I'm putting it more towards the bottom of it so that there's room for the gift card to get down in there. Because if you put it up too high, then there's not going to be enough room. So I wanted to make sure that it's in there. And here you can see that there's plenty of room for it. So now to make sure that the card doesn't keep flying open, I have a little piece of foam dot here and I added a little tiny sentiment. And that's the thing about what's great about using digital stamps is that you can size them to your liking. So I really sized this one down a little bit because I want it to fit on my little circle closure here. So I just put a little piece of foam dot at the bottom of it so that the top of the card slides in and out of it. Now I just use a couple of glue dots uh, for my little wood veneer um, to go coffee cup for a little accent and she's all finished and ready to go. You just open it up and you got a place to write a, your own little message with lots of fun coffee sentiments and a little gift card at the top. And then you can just close it back up and stick it in a card and it's all ready to go. Now, how cute and fun is that? So here I wanted to show you what is included in these digital coffee break papers from DigiDoodle Studios. There are 12 different patterns, and what I usually do is I just get the cheap cardstock copy paper from Walmart, and I just print them out on here. And I think it's so fun that you can see this up close and personal. These are all coffee related. They are all the same color patterns, and I really love. You can see the details in it, like the coffee stains. And this one is coffee color diamonds. And this is chocolate mocha plaid, which is really fun too. I love plaids. This is called coffee mugs. And it's got cute little coffee mugs in there in little shape pattern. And this one is called coffee stained cardboard. It's like a corrugated looking thing. And even in this video, it doesn't do it justice. It's really cool in person. And here is coffee mocha stripes. And I love the diagonal stripes in there. And then this is caramel mocha stripes, which is basically a lighter version, just like the corrugated uh, looking paper. And this is coffee mocha love. Look, it's got tiny little hearts all entwined in there, which I absolutely love. And then this is the pattern that I used in our project today called caramel mocha coffee love. And the ones with a star uh, next to it are the ones that I used on my uh, project today. But here I'm showing you, I used it as the backer behind Ginger, and then I also used it on the inside panel here. And I do have plenty of paper left, and I only printed out that one for the project and then that one here to show you. And then this one is coffee dots, and the other one is mint coffee dots. And these two I also used on the project as well. This for the gift card holder and this one towards, towards the bottom of it, and I think for the strips too, I use that one. But as you can see, it goes a long way and the, the, the patterns are so cute. So 
I hope you've enjoyed my Z Fold gift card holder. Lots of fun products I used from DigiDoodle Studios. I hope you will check out the links below and also stop by my blog for still photos. Thanks so much for stopping by, friends. I hope you enjoyed this.